guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Eileen from Makeup by Eileen. If you're already subscribed to this channel, welcome back guys. So for today's video, we're going to be testing out the BYS Complete, Complete Coverage Foundation. It's in cool beige. It looks like this. It's a little bit too dark for my skin, so I'm going to mix in some lightning drops to it. And if you guys see me in the same kind of setup in another video, I'm filming two videos back to back. So let's jump right into this video. We're also going to do a 12 hour wear test. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, first, I'm going to prime my skin. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Matte Matte Primer and I'm just going to work that where I get a little bit more oily which these guys has been nearly my whole face so that's the thing it's been extremely humid and hot yeah so I'm getting super shiny very quick so let's just press that primer in and while that's sinking in I'm going to grab the hello good stuff from Essence, the three in one face mist, hydrate, fix, refreshes with watermelon extract. I don't like this as a setting spray, but it is a very sticky once you spray it on your skin and you've left it for a while. It like leaves a nice tacky layer for a primer. It's really good. It does refresh the skin when you spray it on, but the mist is way too aggressive as a facial spray for. like setting your face and spraying afterwards because I spray in completely mist like a really lets off a sticky sticky feel to the skin and I normally am super sticky after yeah let's actually grab a makeup bar quickly just wipe that off before I'm super sticky for the rest of the day. I hate feeling sticky, so just grab a wipe and just wipe it off my chest area before I go crazy. Okay, now let's jump into this makeup. I'm just gonna put like two pumps on my foundation palette. I think this is a matte coverage. It doesn't say it's matte, but I do know that they have a matte formula. I'll have to go back and insert over here whether this was matte or a normal formula. Let's grab the brush and mix it together. Just apply it to the face. in a glass pump bottle it is also I think it's about 280 rand so it's not the cheapest foundation out there but I thought seeing that I like my BYL I mean BYS palette so much I thought I'd give this a try and see if it's any good I'm just gonna bounce it in with a beauty sponge I've been preferring the way my makeup looks with a sponge versus my normal using a brush which is crazy we all go through I think stages where we think it looks nice with one thing and then get over it and move on to the next thing we've been using a makeup brush, uh, foundation brush for a long time and I just I think it's because I prefer more of a natural cover foundation at the moment to a full cake face so Could be that not entirely sure why I've changed but change is as good as a holiday they say so just make sure it's blended down the neck now my face looks really white these lights tend to wash out your skin a little bit so but once everything's on it will look 
fine. It looks fine in person, on camera it's tending to look a little bit lighter, but also I don't have lights down here, they're all in my face. So, before everybody says, oh, your face is too white, it's not. If I do that, it's a little bit better. Okay, let's let that settle a little bit and grab, I'm going to grab the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. This one, yeah, in the shade Cool Cashmere. And I just like when I do a foundation review to put my concealer on because I can kind of judge how the concealer blends on top of the foundation. Whether it's okay or it's not going to be okay. Scooch my mirror a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to tapping the concealer some foundations when you try layer stuff on top they kind of lift up so that's why I like just doing the concealer in the review and it looks like it's working really nice so that's a good thing it's blending out really nicely Okay, that looks really nice. Let's set our face quickly. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me in 102 under the eyes, just very gently, not too crazy. Like we have put that concealer down, it's the lighter color of the two setting powders. So I just like to set it with a lighter powder so that it's keeps that brightness under the eye. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Powder and I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face. Obviously, you don't want to forget your neck. Okay, looking in the mirror, it looks really nice. The foundation is sitting nicely on my skin. It actually looks like it's melted into my face, but giving me coverage. It does feel a little bit more mattifying than Dewy, so I'm hoping this is the matte formula, but it could just be the normal skin formula. Anyway, let me pop on the rest of my face and we'll get back into my first impressions on this foundation. Okay guys, I have the rest of my face on. I've contoured, I've blushed, I've got mascara on and obviously mascara. I've got my eyeshadow on and my brows and everything, everything is set down. I have filmed another video real quick that you guys will probably see before you see this video. And I've probably had this space on for about an hour and a half and it still looks fresh like I did it five minutes ago. So I really think this BYS foundation is very nice. It is very full coverage foundation even with a sponge you're getting a decent amount of coverage but with a sponge you get about a medium to full coverage and I'm sure with a brush you'd get way more coverage the only thing that I don't like about this product straight off the bat is this is the color cool nude and I am cool nude in Catrice which is like this shade in comparison with I'm cool nude in these are just foundations I have on my desk in the Febble Matte Foundation. And I mean, you can see that this color is well, way darker than the other colors. I mean, that's the three of them side by side. And you can see it's 
very orange and a lot darker so when picking it up i do get it off tag a lot you're just gonna have to look through the swatches a lot more carefully but obviously on the skin it doesn't look as dark i did mix in some color like drops with it but I think once you've like buffed it in it's not as dark as what it appears just bear in mind that these uh, lights do like make things look a lot lighter than what they actually are that's why i showed you the swatch because there you'd be like oh well it's not that dark but like in the bottle what you see over here is true to what you see in real life things under these beauty lights tend to look a little bit more washed out and toned down than what they do in the real life outside in the like natural lighting so that's that and i'll see you guys in about six hours to see how this foundation is wearing out hey guys i'm back with the six hour check-in on this foundation the bys foundation i did check on my order history that it is the normal foundation for normal skin it is not the mattifying one but yeah we go this is what it looks like after six hours of being on the skin it's holding up really nice i don't have any separation on my actual bridge of my nose but obviously my problem area is around my nostrils and that is cracking a little bit but nothing too crazy no foundation seems to have lifted or anything i've had lunch i've been driving around fetching children and that there and the foundation is holding up pretty well so i'll see you guys in another six hours but so far so good <laughs> Okay guys, so this foundation has been on for 12 solid hours, this is what it looks like, I'm getting a little bit shiny in my t-zone but nothing too serious, it hasn't broken apart off the face, it still looks, it's looking a bit dewy and not oily so that's a good thing. Anyway, that's that for a 12 hour wear test, this foundation gets a thumbs up from me, hope you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to to like and subscribe to this channel if you are not already have already done so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye